Hey, good evening, everybody. Sorry for uh, starting a bit later than advertised. I was helping my sibling work out some uh, some audio stuff because we're going to be recording a thing together, and they have a Chromebook, which is really difficult to get programs that work for. Generally, the go-to is Audacity. It works on Windows and Mac, but uh, Chromebook is, yeah, it, it's basically an Android tablet uh, with a keyboard, but you know what? We figured it out. We basically just got whatever cheapo free voice recorder app. Should be fine. But yeah, I'll have more to talk about that when uh, we actually get some stuff recorded and going. In the meantime, it's time to chill. Time to have a little at-home vacation. Going to the Isle of Delfino. Play a little Super Mario Sunshine. Got my crappy aviators on. Got this... Nice, uh, what, what one is this? A cat tee. Cat, cat, cat A shirt. And got a lovely caramel apple cider. It's just a homemade apple cider made with some, uh, honey crisp apples that I added, uh, uh, like an ounce of, um, butter shots to. So it, it tastes like caramel apple. Oh, and the audio's already out. Good. Hold on. Let me just fix that right get dang now so that I don't have to deal with it while I'm playing. Should be just a moment. There it is. Yeah, that's a fine level. Let me know if it's too quiet or too loud or anything in the chat, and I'll be happy to adjust as needed. So let's go, uh, let's do some more Rico Harbor, I think. I think I've had, had some time to refresh myself. Um, Ooh. Oh yeah, that's the one I need the... Do I have the rocket nozzle here yet? No. No, I don't have this rocket nozzle yet. Nope. Okay. I will, uh, I'll figure that out later. In the meantime... Hold on, let me adjust my mic. I have a bad habit of trying to adjust myself to the mic, and that ends up putting me in bad posture, so... Now, I'm just gonna adjust the mic to myself. Alright. All right, I remember we had the uh, the platformy bit, which was a pain last last night, but should be able to figure it out today. The caged shines bright. It was just I kept getting knocked knocked down, which was really annoying me. Uh, switch. The, the main thing is that it switches you over to the rocket nozzle right before you get there. Which is a pain because that means that the platforming is a lot harder because you don't have the uh, the nice hover nozzle to support you. But you know what? I've definitely, definitely dealt with worse. So let's, let's get on. That's the thing is that this is polished, but it kind of shows the limitations of video game controls in general. That this is like the most polished, nice controls that we expect from mainstream games, and it's still a little fiddly, a little weird. But hey, you know what? It's still wonderful. It's it's some great music, some beautiful sunny areas. Uh, ooh, see a blue coin over there. Uh, I'll do blue coins later. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not, probably not gonna 100% this, because I already know that there's like a couple of, uh, couple of shines that are a major pain to get. So, I'm not I'm not interested in doing that again. Not after the stars in the last game. Doing okay on this. I, I feel like it's because I came back to it fresh. Whoops. Well, oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall. Mario, don't fall. That's okay. Okay, I was trying to... There we go. It's, it's a little easier to pull that off here because you can see the little... Little zippy bit Mario does. Whoops. Oh, whoops. Oh, he just missed me there. Okay, okay, gotta go, gotta go. Quick, before they respawn. Yep, come on, quick. No, no! Oh, damn. Okay, that's fine. That's one, that's one mistake. Put it on the counter. Is anybody keeping track? We got a counter? I don't know. I don't got time for that. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my... Audio down a bit. I don't want to blow my ears out playing this. Uh. 
Oh, cool. There's little heat lines going off. That might just be warping in the, the picture. I don't care. I will assume they are heat lines because that, that feels nice. Feels good. And let's... Yeah. Watch out for the bug. He does not want me to succeed. This insect... Actually, he's only got the four legs, so I guess he's just a... Uh, Use some kind of bug. Unlike insect, bug is just a colloquial term. It just means any kind of creepy crawly you ain't like. You know what? I'm actually quite a fan of various bugs and spiders. They're good kids, you know? They're just doing their best to get through. Especially spiders, man. Out here in the southeast, it's so, like, mosquito-y and full of other bugs that... It's nice to have a bug who's on our side, like, like the spider. That helps, that helps to eat the nasty mosquito. Uh, I'm gonna try going this way for this. I think. Hmm. No, I gotta go over there. It looks like, unless I'm missing something. I am playing this glassesless, glassesless run. Because these are not prescription sunglasses, as I mentioned on the last stream. They're, they're, they are a prop. Ooh, I was able to jump those a little easier last time. Oh, whatever. Whoops! Oh, damn it! What happened last time? I would just do a simple old jump and have no problems with it last time. Hmm. Something screwy. Uh, okay, we can swim down. So I'll just get... Get that. Well, this was new for it, with the separate... Uh, separate life meter underwater. We didn't have that in the, the last game. Oh, but that also means I didn't get anything... Any life from those coins. Well, that's a bit annoying. Oh, well. Just gonna refill here. Before I whoop. <laughs> uh, right. I was gonna go for this. Oh boy. Here, can I? Wow. <laughs> Got him. Oh, Sunday night. It's been an all right weekend. Did a lot of streaming. Yeah, I mean, the same amount of streaming. I meant to do like some longer streams, but uh, it gets a bit hard having motivation for a stream when there aren't a lot of viewers, not a lot of people talking in chat, you know? It's still fine, it's playing video games and talking, which are two of my favorite things. Uh, third favorite thing, playing board games. I fucking love board games, dude. Tabletop games, hell yeah. Anytime. Actually, I was watching a couple of the Kickstarter games that I've done, that, that I've pledged, are uh, coming to fruition soon. So, in the next month or so, I should be getting Fossilis, which is a little game that has like a. You dig for dinosaur bones, but you have like an actual little, like, dig site that you like, like, pull all these little plastic tiles off. It's adorable. Whoop, shit. Nah, my hubris. I knew that probably wasn't gonna work out. Um, but the that one is gonna be coming in probably probably soon. They're working on producing it, shipping it out. Um, Tapeworm, which is the new Edmund McMillan board game. He's made a couple. I mean, well, he's made card games uh, specifically. He made the Binding of Isaac: Four Souls because he is the 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 designer behind the Binding of Isaac and Super Meat Boy and the End Is Nigh. Uh, I don't believe he owns any part of Super Meat Boy anymore, unfortunately. But the rest of that, I, I'm a huge fan of his. And Tapeworm looks pretty fun. Um, it's just a real simple little card game, little square cards. Trying to put Tapeworms together, tear them apart, cut them up, put them back together. It's silly, it's gross. It's Edmund McMillan. That's, that's his... That's his M.O. 
Whoop, I hear the audio skipping out a little bit. Probably reset it once I get back to land here. So I'm excited for that. I also went on a uh, tier with that where I got the Binding of Isaac Four Souls with the Kickstarter exclusive gold chest expansion, which there's no other way to get it now. So I'm glad I got that. Uh, that game's pretty fun. It's kind of like it's kind of like Munchkin, but with a um, a little bit more like if that was Magic the Gathering rules and with the Binding of Isaac skin. So it's it's fun. I like it a lot. Uh, I worked out a, a single player mode. All right, hold on, let me reset the Elgato. Which is pretty neat. Um, so it's just solitaire. I mean, the whole thing, it's not exactly cooperative, it is competitive, but you're not really attacking each other. You're kind of hindering each other a little bit while mostly attacking like monsters and creatures and stuff. So it didn't take too much adjustment to make it a single player solitaire experience. The um, the other game, it's not coming out until probably beginning of next year, but Oath. Oh my god. Oh my god, Oath. I'm so excited. Oath is a game by Cole Worley, the designer of Root, which is my favorite tabletop game. And it's a, it's a legacy game, which if you don't know, a legacy game is a game that some way, in some way, remembers the previous games. So the the first one was Risk Legacy. It's just the original Risk, but you like tear up cards when you get rid of them, and uh, you like write on the board with Sharpie. So like your game board is going to be unique to you and your group because it's going to go specific ways depending on what happens. And it's got like a campaign and stuff. It's still Risk, so that's it's you know it's about as exciting as Risk. Uh, then uh, the designer of that worked with the designers of Pandemic to make Pandemic Legacy, which was like the big one. I'm not a huge fan of Pandemic personally, because it's... Yeah, I mean, it's the big cooperative game, but it is effectively just a solitaire game where you split up all of the information and actions between multiple people. There's like... There's not a ton of reason for it to be multiplayer. God damn, my audio's going out again. I'm gonna do a full reset of the Elgato, pull out all the cables and stuff as I get over this platform. Um, but yeah, Oath is Cole Worley's take on a legacy game because, like, he's played all the other ones, being a game designer, and he. He's been a little disappointed in them. He feels like they don't quite do what they purport to do, you know? They don't quite make a game that can remember what's going on and such. So they... Um, is it going? It's going? Come on now. Come on. I see it on that screen. It's not coming up for you guys. Hmm. Did I plug everything in right? Yeah, everything's plugged in. Hold on. Let's unplug that and plug it back in, see if that helps. Ah. But yeah, Oath looks like it's going to be super fun. It's just like a war game with the legacy elements where the, the card library changes, so you don't have to make permanent changes, and you can technically reset your whole thing. But it's it's going to be interesting. I also recently got a game. Hmm. It's not working. Hold on. Uh, let's try that. Come on. Come on now. Come back to me. Come back to me. Oh. Okay, weird. Uh, OBS link stopped. Hold on a sec. 
Let me turn. Turn that back on. Is that it? There we go. No audio, though. What's that no audio? Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. Uh, let's try that one more time. See how that works out. Is it because it it's paused? There, okay, it was because it was paused. There we go, woo, got it fixed. Okay. Nope, oh, shit, nah, I gotta refill my water anyways. Okay, woo. That was scary for a second. Um, so, where was I? Right, uh, Oath is the newest leader game. Leader Games is a publisher who is specifically uh, Patrick Leader, who designed Vast, the Crystal Caverns, and the Mysterious Manor. And they, uh, he, he worked with Kyle Farron, who's an, an amazing artist. And they made that game. I haven't had a chance to play that game yet. I've been meaning to. It's on Tabletop Simulator, Tabletopia, all that business. Um, but I hear it's pretty fun. And then they, they made Root, which was their big seller. Root, like, popped off. That was, like, the big one. And that was designed by Cole Worley, who's also doing Oath. They did a couple expansions of uh, Root, which I've gotten all of them. I've gotten pretty much every bit of root merchandise except for the pins and the um the plushes which i want to get but it's tricky you know they're they're expensive uh, i guess also the neoprene mats but that's that's a little much i don't necessarily need that it's also i feel bad about it because like the folks at leader games were very nice because i my original copy of root had a, a deformed board. The board, like the sticker was placed just a little wrong, so it was it wouldn't fold flat. And I was like, hey, is there any way that I can get, I emailed them, I was like, hey, can I get a, like, where can I buy a new board? And they were like, just give us your address, we'll send you a new one. And I was like, awesome, so yeah. I, I have a board that was specially sent to me by them because of that, and it's much appreciated. Um, the old board. Hold on, I hear my cats going off. I apologize, I will BRB. Okay, now my shortcuts are working. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, all right, sorry about that. My cats, um, we have a younger cat named Leopard and an older cat named Dakota. She's like 20, she's super old. And uh, he's he's a young guy, so he uh, he still wants to play like young cats do, fight, play fighting and stuff. And she is not interested in that. So 
she just freaks out at him all the time. And yeah, I gotta make sure that he's not hurting her or anything. So sometimes I will hear them out there doing that. I don't know if it picks up on the audio. Man, this is supposed to be the introduction to the rocket nozzle and it's an incredibly difficult level. Whoa, wait, wait for it. There we go. Boing. Boing. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh god, no, 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 not, not here. Not here. Not here. I got this, I got this. Oh gee. Hey. Who? Uh, nope. Oh, it's this close, it's close. Oh my god, okay. Go, 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 go. In the thing! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, fucking finally! Whew. My god, that is a hard one. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, so most of their games lately have been Cole Whirly and Cal farren has been a lot of Root. And Oath was a game. But then their first game that they didn't kickstart. Which I know kickstart games usually are a problem. But in this case, like, there's a lot of really cool stuff that they've been making through Kickstarter. And, uh... Yeah, they, they made their first full retail game, Fort, which is by Grant Rodiak. He's a different designer, but it's still Cal Farin Art, and it's a, it's a deck building game about just being kids in the neighborhood building forts. Super fun. I, I've played it once with Coco. The cards are so high quality. It's so nice. They're like super glossy. Like they almost feel like they're made out of like fucking plastic. They're so nice and glossy. Um, God damn it, the audio again. Oh, whoop. Hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, it's it's super fun, super cute art, super cute characters. I I have a great time with it. It's uh, it, it's basically like a deck builder, but the whole thing is that like any of your cards you don't use. Because all of your cards are kids in the neighborhood. And it's like, if you don't use a kid in the neighborhood, it's like, well, we're just going to go play in the yard. Because we don't want to hang out with you if you're not going to play with us. And any kids in the yard can get usurped by other kids building their own forts. So it's like you build your deck by taking other people's cards that they didn't use. And it's, oh, it's really, it's really, really fun. Um, I'd say it's even better than, say, Merchants of Dale, which is my personal favorite deck builder. Uh, Fort, I do think, has replaced it. And maybe it's because I'm biased, because I'm a total, a total geek for leader games, but, like, it's super, super fun. And whereas Merchants of Dale, it always has the problem of every card has a bunch of text you gotta read, so the first turn is basically everybody just sitting there and reading a couple paragraphs of text across a bunch of different cards. Um, in Fort, it's all symbols. It's all like their own special lexicon of symbols. So like, it's like this symbol is get one pizza. Get, this symbol is get one toy. This symbol is uh, build your fort. And you just, you gotta trade in toys and pizza to build your fort up. This one is uh, put stuff in your backpack. This one is score victory points times all the stuff in your backpack. This is put a kid in your lookout. It's like, it's all really intuitive which I, f I f fucking love in a tabletop game. It's really hard to make tabletop intuitive because unlike a game like this, where you can just kind of run around and futz about, tabletop is basically a machine run by its players. So if there's any player who isn't doing their stuff, doing their turn correctly, the whole thing gets gunked up for everybody else. They have to slow down and help people out. But like a game where it's just like obvious what you want to do, that's good. That's a good game. I like it, and I'm a fan of that. I will probably at some point play some Fort on a tabletop simulator on here, because that is uh, one of the cool things about Leader Games, is all of their games have free print and play, 
So you're la you can basically just make your own version to play for free. And they're pretty much all on a tabletop simulator. So while tabletop simulator is pretty clunky, um, it's it's only 20 bucks and you can basically get every tabletop game there is, excluding, excluding like uh, Silk is the only one I haven't been able to find. But I plan on making the, the module for that. If no one else does, you know, I've had it on my to-do list for quite a while. So maybe somebody already has made it, at which point I'll just play it. Thank them for that. But if not, it's a fun game. So I'd wanna wanna help people out so they can play it. What's this? Secret of Rico Tower. I I genuinely did not see where I'm supposed to go for this bit. Come on, do the skirt. Bam, there it is. There? Is that what I need? That looks like a tower. I believe if I were to go over this wall, that's Bianco Hills right over there. Isn't that nice? Ain't that sweet? Shit! Okay, I only took one. One damage. How am I, how am I meant to get up there? Oh, hey, blue coin. Mm. I love me a cider with some butter shots. Usually I go with like a hard cider, but I got all this homemade cider. I'm trying to work through. I also gotta make some, make some more apple cider donuts. The batch I made last is good. It's still tasty, but uh, it's dried out a bit. <laughs> anyway, dry donuts, not so fun. But hey, it's all right. I made one um, similar to biscuits. Whenever you make biscuits, right, you re-roll it, you do another batch. It's probably not as tender as the first batch, all that nonsense. Uh, but then, with with biscuits, I always, with the third little bit, I just smush all the scraps together and just make one big biscuit. So in the case of the donuts, I did the same thing. I just made a big old thing of, of donuts. And it, uh, whew. It was, it was not cooked in the middle. <laughs> it was pretty much raw dough in the middle, but you know what? It was fun just to, uh, just to eat a donut that large. It was also super, like, flaking apart and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was dumb. It was not good, but I, I, I had fun making it. I like, I like cooking. Cooking's pretty fun. It's, it's, you know, your food, if you cook your food for yourself, it's almost always gonna end up better because you get to control how it goes. And it's so satisfying, you know, to just be like, I am I am able to feed myself. It, it, it makes you feel so responsible, like such a responsible adult to be able to make your own food from scratch. So even if you do other stuff, like fucking get mad at video games and other bullshit like I do, or obsess way too much over board games, um, I can, I can, I can cook a delicious gourmet meal and be like, yes, this is, this is being an adult. This is what it's like. Hold on, I need a rocket nozzle to get up there. I think there's one over on this boat that I didn't, I didn't do immediately because it would have made the rest of the situation harder. Or no, wait, it's like a little ways up here. Ugh, all right. It's fine, I can make it. It's just pain. Especially after I just finished with this whole area a little bit ago. Something I find interesting about this game is it's kind of a game of two parts. Because there's the secrets where they steal, where, where they take Flood away, and you have to basically just platform around, right? But then, there's the flood sections, like this, where you just, you have flood, and you're just futzing about, doing whatever you need to do, and they're just very different feels. Because the platforming in this game, pretty solid. It's pretty good controls. Here, my voice is a little squeaky. A little, uh, a little dehydrated. 
Need a little more water. Drinking too much cider. Ain't got enough water in it. I was just saying this with my roommates. Um, they're, they're like up in Ohio to see Corey's family. But uh, uh, we were talking and it was just like, hey, if you're thirsty, you should drink water. Because what's not going to make you thirsty is the water content of whatever you drink. And water is 100% water content. Oof. No thank you. No thank you. There we go. Get me out of here. Nice. Okay. Got the rocket nozzle. Get get my ass up there. Let's do it. Whoops. Almost. God damn, the audio's going out again. There was yeah, I need to get the HD sixty S plus. Cause for everything I've heard is that it is it, 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 all they do is basically make it so that it will, your computer will consider it a, um, will consider your, your device to be a webcam, basically. So, that would honestly be more helpful, because it wouldn't do all this fiddly weirdness that it's been doing. And it's about the same price as the HD 60S, so... I'm looking. If anybody, hey, anybody out there looking to buy an HD 60s Elgato, let me know because I'm looking to sell it so that I can get the 60s Plus. Although I might just get it and then worry about selling this one later. God damn! God damn! How am I supposed to do this? I got the rocket nozzle. How else can I do it? Hold on. Ooh, give it a minute, give it a minute. Whoops. Oh, I'm out of water. God damn. God damn it. Alright, got the water. Whoop, nope. Gotta get out of that, sludge. Let me get this guy. Ooh, he's a blue coin. That's neat. Oh my god, I should trade some of those in. Got at least ten. It's okay, it's okay. I got this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aw, oh, damn. I feel like, I wonder if Flood was inspired by, um, those, like, water jet packs. You seen those? Where it's like, it just, it has a long hose attached and it just kind of lifts you up. It's a, uh, oh, god damn it. Cause those, those are legit from everything I've seen. They look fun. But, yeah, Flood gives me a similar vibe. Come on. There we go. Finally, jeez. Oh, this one. I remember this one. I never played a ton of this as a kid, but I have watched quite a few playthroughs of it. I remember I watched Chuck of Conroy's, which, oh boy, I, I, I was in a nostalgia kick and I was just like, maybe I should rewatch Chuck of Conroy play Mario Sunshine and, oh boy, that was a mistake. That guy sucks. Or at least he did. I don't know, maybe he's improved. But back, back in, uh, I think when I was in high school, what, 2008 or something? Man, all the all of his let's plays from then are hot garbage. They're just not funny. They're uh, pretty poorly shit. Nah. Yeah, they're just not funny. 
the audio is terrible, which I mean he admits to, I, which is the least you can do, honestly. At least recognizing that you have a bad microphone and then, or a bad microphone, bad recording environment, everything, and then being like, okay, I know it's bad. That, that's the that's the like bare minimum of what you should do. But I would say, don't record anything until you get a better microphone and recording environment. Because it's not hard to do. Like, it's, it's, it takes very little to get yourself set up to properly record stuff. It's Microphones are cheaper and cheaper every day. I guess back in the day, maybe they weren't quite as cheap. Uh, it's making a recording environment. I mean, shit, you can just go to a thrift store and get all the stuff you need for that. Just get some old quilts, some old grandma quilts, bunch of old plush toys, you know? Maybe try and get some that don't smell too mildewy. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me that. I want it. No. <laughs> Give me the... No! Ah. Uh. My bad. Okay. Game face, let's do this. My fucking god, the audio's already clipping again. <laughs> Facing it and out. What is this? I think it's just because I've been using my computer a lot today, you know. Gotta gotta give your computer a break every now and then, you know. Make sure, make sure you restart your computer. Um, at, at least sometimes. I know some people just never restart it, but it's like, believe me, if it doesn't run super well, if you restart it, it, it will help a great deal. <laughs> nope. 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 Alright. Oh, I still got eight Marios. We're good. Oh, boy. This isn't... This is not that hard. This is, from my understanding, more like what Galaxy is going to be like, so I'm stoked for that. The little bit of Galaxy I played, it was just delightful. It was a ton of fun. I'm not looking forward to having to play with the Joy-Cons because my Joy-Cons got some drift, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's real unfortunate. I mean, I've had them since launch. I got, I got, I got my Nintendo Switch the day it released midnight launch at a Walmart and oh man I was I was so psyched to have it it's I mean it's it's my favorite console for many reasons and understandably it came out on oh, damn it damn it it launched on my birthday March 3rd damn it so I was I was super stoked to get it Played a bunch of Breath of the Wild immediately. I got one two switch, which is a fucking scam of a game. Sixty dollars for a game that is effectively like a dozen mini games. It's like, yeah, it utilizes the Joy Cons to their fullest, but it's not worth it, guys. It is it is I would say it's worth fucking nothing. They should just give it to you for free. It should be like a free digital download when you get your switch. Fucking it's so like rudimentary. Like, just, it's, why would I fucking pay for such a, like, pointless game? <sighs> but I did. Because I didn't, I didn't read the reviews yet. Is this? The audio! Stop it! Oh, wait for it, wait for it. It's happening, it's coming. Oh, come on now. Come on now. God 
Gotta do it again, gotta do it again. Oh, come on. I hate OBS Link. It's a terrible program. I hate that I even have to fucking use it. Like, this is the most common capture card. Why the fuck is it not just supported on all platforms? For this specific software. Like, why would you not support the most common, most lauded fucking game capture card? The one that everybody is pretty much guaranteed to be using. Give it to me. There it is. I don't, yeah, I don't know where, what OBS is thinking doing that. Whoa, this is way bigger than it looked. Oh, geez. I got this, I got this. Oh, fuck. Hey. Oh, oh, I should be dead. Hit jump and it did not register, which I think is something wrong with this controller, but I made it. I survived. Saving. <sighs> Give it to me. Give me the Rico Haba. Gooper Blooper returns. Oh, that guy. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. Whoops. Jumped off the wrong direction. That's quite all right. I'm on a mission. Kick that gooper blooper's ass. Now you know that. Ah, I see what they're looking for. You can make it without the hover nozzle. It's just it's a little more. It feels a little faster. Let me up. Let me up. Come on, Mario. Come on, man. We got this. Hmm. Jumping up. Let's get him. the safe way to play it is that you gotta like rip his arms off first spent most of my day today a little bit of last night watching Cobra Kai on Netflix the uh the follow up series to the Karate Kid series it's actually pretty good it's nice seeing like a half hour drama which I think, I mean, it was originally a YouTube premium show back when it was called YouTube Red. So, I understand. Ah, oh, damn. I understand why it's shorter, but honestly, I like that. It's a nice form factor. Having a, having a little bit of a shorter series for a drama. Feels a bit pacier, you know? Feels good. I like it. I like the show. And I'm probably gonna watch quite a watch through all of it. Um, the big thing is that Johnny Lawrence is still a total asshole. In fact, even more of an asshole uh, in it. But he's helping out people, I guess. So he's a little bit of a nicer guy. 
um, from the trailers, it looked like they were just gonna have him be like the protagonist and Danny be the villain. Cause like, I mean, full role reversal, whatever. But, uh, nah. In fact, it's, uh, they're, they're both treated as pretty similar. He is definitely the antagonist to Johnny's story. But he is himself going through his own stuff and his story is also important. Um, and it is really nice that they got pretty much all of the same actors back. You know, they got they got Ralph Macchio, they got Billy Zabka, the whole crew. Rip it off. Rip it off. Grab his dang dang old arm. Oh my god, just let me grab him. For fuck's sake, let me just grab the boy. Grab him. There we go. Go, 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 go. And, and snap him. Nice, there we go. Man, this is brutal. Get him. Okay, I don't gotta get all the arms, but I do gotta get these two front ones for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Get him. There we go. Oh, good. Oh, good, that's all. Here comes the shine from on high. <coughs> nice. <sighs> Twenty. Twenty shines. Let me go, let me go, let me go right now. Wow. Sliding. Wanna go, I like this Noki Bay. Pretty sure this is Noki Bay. And you got like, it's the old classic Mario, right? Yeah. Noki Bay, uncork the waterfall. Now the trick here is that you don't get any water going up this, I'm pretty sure, so you gotta be very careful with your conservation of of liquids. Oof, yeah, because this water is no good. You can't use it. Oh man, oh man, it's really hard not to use the, uh, the, uh, the, the, whoops, the hover nozzle. No, suck it up. Suck it. Ah, whatever. What am I supposed to do here? Come on. Come on, let me up. Let me up, let me up, let me up right now. I don't know, do I gotta get this? Hmm. I must be doing something wrong here. Oof. Well, I think I gotta go on that. 
So let's go on that. Uh, oh, that was the big thing I remember about Chucka Conroy's video. Is that when he did, um, when he did part of this level, he played that same, like, like, a hard rock, uh, cover of Simple and Clean that everybody used in their fucking musical breaks back in the day. Well, I guess I gotta uh, hover it on over. What shit! Oh god damn it! I fucked that up for myself. I accidentally, I accidentally hit one of the under, the the under paddle buttons, the the, the whatever special assignable bumpers, which I guess I have assigned to jump. Oops. Yep. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Going up on a Tuesday. Fill it up, fill it up. Alright, that should be enough. Or not. I think I gotta... Yep, yep, I gotta do that. Oh, do, 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 do. I don't wanna overfill it, because I only got so much water. Whoa, shit! Oh, god damn it. Hold on, hold on, I can... There we go. Whoa, no, 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 no. Uh, all it takes is the tiniest bit of sludge to really screw you up. Oh, come on, dude. Do the. Get it. There we go. Whoop. Nope. Stop. Stop. No, get. Jump off the fucking thing, Mario! Say these games have great controls and then they do bullshit like this. Like, I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about. Well, thanks. It was really helpful. It was not very helpful. Whoop, there we go. Life. Oh, cool! You get a full fill up on a extra life. I didn't know that. Whoops. There we go. All right, that's one. Whoops! Watch out! It's gonna blow. Oh, dang it, I missed. Alright. Whoops. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Got him. They could have given us a stronger than that. A real, real big one. 
Yeah, whatever. 21, Shine Gate. I think the next one is the Eel's Teeth, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I'll deal with it. Yeah, dude, I just I just came from there. What are you doing? Is it? Is it? No, the boss of Tricky Ruins. All right, let's see what's about. All right, let's let's give it a go. Well, maybe this is the one where you got to get all the way up without refilling your water. No, no, I think it was the last one. Whoops. I missed the jump pad. I missed the jump pad. Is this him? Is this the boss? You've returned to what? What's that? The ocean's still dirty. Strange. It looks like my theory was way off. It's okay. I think I've got a low lead on the real cause. Now, this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Behind the waterfall? Hmm. Shine Sprite. This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the ball, painting as a pot usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Or should this is all true, maybe. Okay, I just gotta... Yeah, spritz the thing it just showed me. So I gotta... Open up. What the heck? Tanuki? Tanuki Tom? Now that our waterfall's back to normal, I can resume business. Thanks, Master Mario. In return, please use my boats at any time. Free of charge, of course. I don't have any oars, though. Looks like you'll have to use your pump to get around. Hmm. Well, I guess so. Come on. Come on. Is it from up here? Where's that painting at? It didn't look like it was, like, right here. Oh, wait a minute. It's over there? How am I meant to... Hmm. Yes. Hey, that's what it is. Okay. Whoop. Come on, I got this. Oh, whoop. Okay, I got it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, okay. So I gotta do it all one shot. Come on. Come on, do it then. Reset. Oh, guess I'm a little far away. Or too close, I guess. Come on. There we go. Let's get it, get it, get it. Come on. There we go. Oh my fucking god. Mario! Ah! Mario! God fucking damn it. I gotta wait for all that shit to reset. Okay, now I gotta do it again. Let's go. Let's a go. Oh my fucking god! 
I expect fucking kids to be able to do this shit. Well, is there another painting I can get, or what the fuck's up? Oh. I see. There we go. Kill him, kill him. Crush their small bodies. Was this a uh, maze? Well, like amazing. <laughs> amazing that I have a fucking. It's exploded! With rage! There we go. That was easy. What the fuck? Glooper blooper. What are you doing at prison? You can fuck right off. Nope, never mind. Go on then, do it. Do it, you rot bastard. Come on, do. Oh, come on, let me get his fucking hand. There we go. Fucking pop that bitch right off. I hate that you fucking fall down after you do it, too. It destroys the flow of the fucking fight. Come on. There we go. Get, 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 get. Got his mouth. Got his thick octopi lip. Ah. Ooh, cinematic. Gotta give me a couple coins. There we go. Try and get. Ah, there we go. Dude, I get it. <coughs> you think after I did two fucking missions there, they'd remember. They don't care about Mario. They don't care about me or my plight. Oh, jeez. All right, welcome, welcome. I'm here for that. Yeah, I'm gonna trade, trade a shine. Trade some blue coins for a shine. I'm up to the number 23, starring Jim Carrey. Or, you know what, let me finish off Yonko Hills. I believe I still had one left in there. <sighs> yeah. What we got? Shut Mario on the loose! That was good as ass. Oh my god, I was too close. I don't think I don't think Shadow Mario should be allowed to swim. If if 
If the idea is that the water hurts him, why the fuck would he want to swim? Why would that help him at all? Where's he at? There you are. Get that rat bastard. You can hippity hop like a kangaroo all you fucking want, my dude. It's not gonna help. So I know who you are now. Give it to me. Give me the give me the shine. Give me the shine. Give it to me. Give me the shine. Mmm. One thing about having homemade cider. It's got all that lovely apple sediment at the bottom. Wow, you're gonna do that every time, really. Alright. Uh, let's... Well, let's go back to Rico Harbor. Let's just, like, clear out some of these early stages. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, my neck, my back. Red kings in the water. I believe this is a blooper thing. Yeah, yeah. I hope so, anyways, because, like, oh, yep, I gotta activate him. Bam. Before the timer runs out. Oh no. Alright. One. Oops, missed one. Uh, missed that one. Oh, well, there's a path. I can follow paths. What was it? Uh, <laughs> at the, the PAX Unplugged I went to a couple years back. Um, tears for PAX Unplugged. Because it's, it's not happening this year. Um, they, they did Tokyo Highway as their Omegathon finale, and, uh, Tycho and Gabe were commenting the whole time, and at one point, um, Gabe was just like, uh, they didn't invent roads until the 1990s, and Tycho was just like, really? I thought, I thought that was a thing. He's like, nah, they had, before that they had paths. It's good, it's good, it's funny. It's humorous. I enjoy it, excuse me. Sorry, I've been dragging. A little bit of, a little bit of shatter. Alright, I'm gonna finish up Nico Har- or not Nico Har- uh, Rico Harbor. Rico Harbor. Ricota Harbor, whatever. Um, and then... I'm gonna take a break. Holly, grab the last of that cider. This will just follow the path. Probably the easiest way to do this. Whoops, missed it. I might not have enough time. Oh shit. That's quite all right. That's all framed up correctly. Hopefully it is. Let me know if it isn't in the chat. Nope, I get it. Red coins, water. Got it. Not dealing with these locks. Go, go, go. Go, my friend. can get the first four pretty easy. First five, even. Is that sixth one that gives me trouble? 
Oh, I missed the fifth one. I can loop back around. I got enough time. Oh, no, oh, damn it. Ooh, wee. No, I get it. Noki Bay, got it. Red coins on the water. Come on now, let's do it. Bam. Let's go. Come on now, coming on to the approach. The coins aren't super precise. I keep missing this one. Oh, oh I missed it. Hold on, I'm just gonna loop around now. It's not gonna matter, because I'm probably gonna die after that sixth one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right. Uh, what? Where are the last ones? Is that? No, those are flags. Whoa! Watch where you're sailing, mister. Oh, there's one. Shit, shit, shit. There's gotta be... Ah, there's the last one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know what the hell happened there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I gotta get the shine while piloting this fucking thing? All right. Jump, 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 you bitch! Nope, nope, not what I meant to do. Fuck! Really? That is utter bullshit right there. Holy fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go take a break. Clear my head for a minute. BRB, so don't touch the internet down, folks. Be right back.
All right, I am back. Decided against the second cider because uh, that eh, first one was enough sugar for me today. Especially because I'm probably gonna have one of those donuts later. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to this. I think I got it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Red coins on the water. I'm curious if there's like a better strat for grabbing the shine. Alright, let's go, let's go. Whoops, missed the first one. That's okay. Can go a little rogue here. Nope, nope. Messed up. Bob mess me up a little bit. I overcorrected. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing great here, but I got plenty of time. So, whoa! Oh, damn. Hit the bro order. Damn. Not my best. Go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's there's four. Whoop. Alright, I'm just looping back around right now. There we go. Damn, missed. Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy, that could have been bad. All right. It's fine, it's fine, I got like a minute. Alright, I got those two last ones to get, but that's alright, that's alright, I got it. It's okay, I got I got 40 seconds. That's plenty. Pl 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 oh. Whoo, boy. Alright, let's give that another shot. Come on now, come on now. Let's try let's try the traditional path this time. If 
Bang. Yep, let's go. I get the one between. That's fine. That's, that's not too tricky. Let me give myself a wide berth. So that I don't have to slice through too hard. No, oh, Motherfucker. That was such an A. I should have skimmed right off that. What the hell? That is nonsense. All right, I'm going to I'm going to try and get this. If I if I don't get it by the game over, I'll move on to a different course, but I I think I think I can get this. Bam. Let's do it. Go. Okay. I got this. I got this. All right. We got one, two, three. And then comes four. Good, 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 good. Let's loose around for five. There's five. All right. I'm going to get the one between the boats for uh, this one because it's a little too tricky when they zip you right back in. Um, all right, these two, this one's a little tricky because you gotta jump for it, but not too bad. I gotta swoosh right through here. There we go. I got, whoa, oh God. I wish it would not do that. Yes. Got it. Okay. Shine get. Is that enough for the sunglasses? That might be enough for the sunglasses. I'm going to go check. Oh. <gasps> He's got the turbo nozzle. Get him. Get him. Bam. Hey, what the fuck? Uh, whoop. Whoop. Uh, yep. Oh, this bastard. Whoops. Oh, that ain't good. Can't tell you much, but I can tell you that ain't good. Oh, okay. I did it. I heckin' did it, folks. Mario. Here we go. Woo! Alright. Mm hmm. Well, we're gonna go back to the hover nozzle, because I don't know what good the turbo nozzle is here. Probably get some blue coins, some. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna head right back into Rico Harbor. 
And, uh, yeah. Get that last one. Last one? I think I might need a couple more. Oh, that's the last one. Shadow Mario Revisited. That's the best you got? Revisited? Where's he at? Get him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? And there's the fucker. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. Let me up. Let me up. Where'd he go? Did he go back? Is that him over there? No, that's a, it's a, one of those things you tie the boat off on. Am I supposed to, where am I supposed to get this guy? Where the fuck did he go? Is he over there? So I don't got an easy way of getting up there. Oh lord. Alright. Is he up here? Where the hell did he go? Uh, the draw distance is too fucking narrow. I can't... I can't tell where he went. Is he somewhere in the water? Because I reiterate, he should not be a allowed to go in the water if water hurts him. That, that makes no thematic sense. Why would you put that in? That, oh, this guy's thing is that he gets hurt when you spray him with water. Oh, cool. So anyways, here's a path where he just fucking runs through the water. What? This guy's gonna make your shit... Make at least some sense. Where did he go? I genuinely, I have no fucking clue where he is. Is that him? No, where the fuck is he? I get here, I can hear his fucking, his fucking music. Go up there, go over there. Did he glitch out? What the fuck is going on? Hold on, I'm just gonna exit and come back because I have no idea where the fuck he went. Yeah, I know! Fucking Wowie Noki Bay! I've been there like seven times, guys! <laughs> Fuck's sake! Get a new joke! What 
fuck? Where's he at? Oh, he's up fucking there. Oh, I guess I can get up there, huh? Jesus, y'all gonna make me chase him on this shit? Okay. Why do I gotta spray this guy for? Ugh. Fooey, I'll remember this. Yeah, of course you will. Why'd you forget? You got your ass kicked. Shine get. There we go. We're done with Rico Harbor. I guess we'll go to Serena Beach. I don't care. No key bay, more like no key bay. Can I have sunglasses now? Ugh, not yet. Maybe it's when I get 30? Alright, oh. Oh boy, I believe this is gonna be the watermelon. Which everybody knows is some bullshit. Sandbird. Sandbird is also pretty tricky. Gelato Beach. I don't know where I got Sereno Beach or whatever I said. Let's go. Oh, come on, do the jumpy. Wow, let's go. In the hole. Alright, Sandbird. Look at it in all its glory. Now, the Sandbird, I believe, is actually not that hard until it starts fucking climbing too far. So we just gotta be pretty quick about everything. Six, and then the last one, or the second to last one, I guess. It's on the tail here, I believe. The ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's because of the cloud. It's because I fucking I like snapped to cloud. It's fine. It's fine. I got it. All right. That one. Now I gotta get the one on the tail. Then the last one is on its bottom. Somewhere. Whoa! Shit! Shit! Can't, I, I'm just walking fucking along it. How better could I have done? Like, what should I have done to improve what, what I just did? I don't know. I know, the life system is so dumb here. There's really just like the, t the losing lives doesn't mean shit, basically. If I get a game over, what do I do? Oh, I just go go back to the fucking opening of the Delfino Plaza. I just gotta spend an extra couple, couple three seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. 
There we go. See, getting to the sandbird, pretty easy. Sandbird itself, needlessly complicated. Should be really fucking simple. Also, the fact that it starts you facing away from the bird, that's fucking annoying for no reason. To shand. Fuck! Fuck! I'm just gonna kill myself because he's not coming back down. The sandbird should not be hard. Like, there shouldn't be anything hard about this. And yet, it's so fu What the fuck?! Like, this is such a simple fucking idea. Literally, it's just weird little fucking- Hey! What the fuck? Why does the tail do that? Why the fuck does the tail, like, flap you off? Is it because of all the sand? I guess you do flip back a little bit, or like scoop back when you fucking, uh, when you jump. Oh, oh, it's doing it. There we go. Where is the last coin? even on the bird? Is there like a place I gotta be to get the last coin? Like one of these clouds? I don't know. Is it, is it over here? Is it even on the bird? Oh, it's not. Cool. Let's go. And get it. Okay. That was not that bad. Once I fucking figured out how the fucking doofy physics worked. God, I get it, guys. I've been to Noki Bay. Il pan piantissimo sand sprint. I love il pantissimo. There he is, ready to call me a pokey little flab biscuit. Up there? No, oh, I know how to get up there. Thirty-five seconds and go. Huh? 
Oh. No. No. Did I make it? Oh. Yes. Just that tiniest bit. Just right before the end. I lucked out there. I I, I will admit I lucked out there, but I got it. So. Shangit. Yep, yep, yep. Noki Bay's open. I know. Let me in. The red coins and the coral reef. This one's actually pretty easy, if I recall correctly. Let me just double check where it's at. Okay, it did not actually show me. I think it's over there. This one's just a little annoying because you gotta swim. The swimming is a little funky. But it's not too bad. Let's get it, get it, get it. Grab it, Mario! Grab it! Are you fucking kidding me? How much closer do I need to fucking be? Oh, come on. There we go, fuck's sake. Hit detection on these fucking coins sometimes. There we go. This is a fun little swim through a coral reef. This is a nice little tropical swim. Well, the tropics is the last place I want to swim. It's, it's full of sharks. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Simmer down. There's another one. Oops. Got spiked a little bit on there. Here's one. Now I just need to find the last one. Further down here. There's another one that's swimming with a school of fish. Yeah? Nope. Ah, there it is. Alright. That one was chill. I like that. Think one more and then we get the sunglasses, maybe? I don't remember. <sighs> it's Shadow Mario, after him. Wait a minute, what about the melon one? Did I miss the melon? Are there more than seven on each of these? There might be more than seven on each of these. I always thought the Shadow Mario was the last one. Oh, 
do the thing, Mario. Did it. All right, let me go check in on those sunglasses and then check if there's still uh, episode eight on each of these. Because I could have sworn the Shao Mario was supposed to be the last one, but I guess not. Oops. Oh. Ooh. Go get him. Is that it? Is that enough? Can I have the sunglasses? Yeah! And that cools everything down, makes it a little less bright. Which I prefer. I got sensitive eyes. Where's that? Where's he at? Wait. No. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Fucking kidding me, Mario. Why the fuck would that be your choice? Oh my fucking god. Come on. God damn it. There we go. Save and continue. All right. Woo! There we go. Some fun to be had. Oh, come on. I know I can get up there from this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh shit, I fell through the fucking world. Oh, and I got a game over for it. That sucks. Whatever, that was cool. Alright, let's 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 do that again. <coughs> Glad it asked you to save every fucking two seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's, let's get our asses up there. Almost, almost. No, oh, come on. Jump? There. Oh, god damn it. 
Let me just let me turn around. It looks like that should be high enough. Right? I guess not. Whoa! Almost. Oh, so close. Ah, from here. There we go. Although, real quick, I wanna... Oh, damn it. I wanna clean off the main shine sprite, because that gets you a shine sprite. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, god damn it. Ooh. Here in this rat bastard plummet fuck. Laugh and giggle away. Ugh! While I'm having all these troubles, is uh might frustrating. If I'm to be perfectly honest. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I believe you're supposed to be over here when you do this. There we go. That one tiny dot. Yeah? Where's it going? That's fine. That's fine. I got the rocket nozzle. I can... can get up there pretty easy. get my sunglasses back. Oh well. No, I get it. I can literally see it from here. Or not. I'm in the goo. Pianta Village. Ooh, this is like the worst one, if I recall correctly. Yeah, this one's pretty rough.
Ah! Ah! Grab his butt. Grab his butt. Where am I taking this fucker? Into the water. There we go. That's one. I believe there are three? Maybe more. there. There we go. And the last. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Just follow his trail. Trail again. That's not quite what I meant to do, but... Ah, damn it. Whoa! And there we go. Oh, shit. So I'm gonna get him right through there. You fucking... Let me out! Holy shit. Hey, maybe you shouldn't make something that is literally impossible to fucking get out of. Guys. Maybe in your game you should make it so that I can actually get away from obstacles. You ever think about that? Always be kind to your pets. I like how Flood does that. Gives you little little bits of advice and such. And the eel one, she's like, remember, dental hygiene's quite important, although I have no teeth. That's how she talks. I'm good for tonight. That's enough for a nice little Sunday night stream. So, I want to thank you all for watching, whether it's in the past, present, or future. If you want to see the beginning of this stream because you missed it, or any of my other streams, you can check the past broadcast tab, which has the last 60 days worth of streams. If you want to catch any before that, check down below on the browser version to go to Iggy Kid Twitch Archive on YouTube. That's my YouTube archive where I have all of the streams I've ever done. Uh, I also have my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, link down there. I do a lot of fun stuff, so I'd appreciate it if you checked it out. Maybe subscribe. If you want to catch any future streams, I have a schedule down below that shows more or less what I'm going to be doing over the week. If you click the stream icon there and go to the schedule tab, you can see specifically what hour I plan to do stuff, but that's all subject to change. So if you want to be sure you don't miss the stream, follow me on Twitter. At Iggy D Kid, I tweet out every time I go live, so turn on notifications so you don't miss those. The best way, though, would be to follow me, which is free for you if you have an account, and it helps out the channel a great deal. So I'd appreciate it if you consider it, and you can set it up so that you get notifications every time I go live. So you definitely won't miss a stream if you do that. So please consider following. Once again, I want to thank you for inviting me to your home, your t 
TV, your laptop, your computer, your game console, however it is that you watch tonight, I really appreciate it, and I hope I brought some levity and entertainment into your life. I do my best. I hope you'll join me on Thursday for my next uh, stream going through all of the Nintendo eShop demos. I've been cranking through that, so I hope you all consider joining me on that day, and hey, nobody else has ever told you this, I'll tell you this right now. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Join me on Thursday for more stream. Please follow all that stuff. Watch my YouTube. I'm doing a bunch of more stuff. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night.